Hi, I'm Dan Sweeney here at the Kennedy Space Center Visitor Complex. We're inside of the Heroes and Legends featuring the U.S. Astronaut Hall of Fame, presented by Boeing. Today, we're going to be making straw rockets. These are a lot of fun, but the main pieces you need are a 2 inch by 7 inch piece of paper, or if you go on to NASA.gov Kids Club, you have these little things you can print out, and it makes it look like our newest rocket called the Space Launch System. Straw, a little bit of tape, and some cardstock for the fins. And of course, our handy dandy scissors. Now, the first thing we're gonna do is we are going to be wrapping our paper around the straw. If you have the picture, you want the picture to be facing down on the table as you roll it. So I like to make mine really tight, but you guys can do all kinds of different experiments, make them super loose, make them super tight, see which ones fly the best. Now, after I roll the whole thing out, we're gonna take a piece of tape, and we're gonna stick that tape right there on the middle so it doesn't unroll. Now, we wanna make sure that air can travel through this whole thing without going out the sides. So what we're going to do is we're gonna take more tape, recommend small pieces, and tape all the way to the top of our straw paper and all the way to the bottom. What I recommend, do not tape it to the straw because this is meant to fly off of the straw. The straw is just the launching mechanism. All right, got that piece. Now we're gonna head downwards. So you wanna make sure that this is completely sealed again because you don't want any air leaks. You want this rocket to fly really, really, really far. Just a little bit of tape and finish this off. There we go. All right, now we need to create a nose cone or a tip for all of the air to hit to help push this. So on this one, you'll see the folds three and four, but what we're gonna do is we are gonna flat move the straw out of the way and flatten the top like so. And we are going to fold down the paper, move the straw completely at this point, and then fold it down again to where you've done about a half inch and then a half inch again. And then we are going to take our tape and we're going to tape that down to make sure it doesn't go anywhere. So what I've done is I put the tape on the side of the fold and now I'm going to wrap that tape around to make sure it doesn't go anywhere. Awesome. Now, we're almost finished. We're gonna add on a tail fin. That stabilizer tail fin is going to allow it to fly straight. So what we need to do is get just a little piece of cardstock and we're gonna make a triangle. You can make it any kind of triangle you want, but I prefer an equilateral triangle, just like this. All you need to do is get a piece of tape that's just slightly larger than it. Stick it over top. Find the spot you want to put it on. And secure the tape. Put the tape directly onto the rocket, keeping your tail as even as possible. Next, insert your straw again, leaving a little room at the end for the air to gather. And we launch. You ready? Three, two, one. go for lunch. I'm Dan Sweeney to remind you all to keep looking up.